Fresh here. Hello, hello. I've been doing... Okay, so what I was saying is... Hi. You know what? I should just talk on camera. No better time to talk on camera, right? Let me set the focus to... Hi, everybody. Welcome. No audio. All right. No sound. No sound. No sound. Okay. All right. That's super fun. Okay, so I'm going to stay in front of the camera. Hi, everybody. Uh, let's see. We've got... Uh, let's see. We've got V-I-C-T-O-R. We've got Victor C in the chat. We've got Andy Campbell. We've got Keith Alderson. We've got James Martin. Sorry, no sound. I always forget. Turn this microphone around. Come on. Oh, yeah, this direction. How's everybody doing? Booker check. I have boogies out the wahoo. Okay. Sorry about the oops, falling over. Sorry about the sound issue. Uh, this is Booster 5. This is Booster 5 right here. And I'm seeing myself on screen. Okay, so Booster 5. Now it's loud and clear. Good now. We've got Harrison here. Harrison Rome. We've got Lori Vasquez. Hi, Lori. We've got Spinnaker. We've got Nick Lavelle. We've got Julian Roberts. Christian is here. Victor's here. Mauricio is here. Jimmy Wright is here. I love all the sunflowers they're sending. Uh, 44 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy in Virginia. It's 12.08 p.m. You know just what to do, Lori. Thank you. Uh, we've got Terry. Thank you. Uh, we've got Terry Reader here. This is the Hive. So it actually rolled out from the high bay this morning, which is what I was predicting would happen. Uh, they and what I was doing at the hand gesture. So I'm going to set this down for a second. So I'm not going to be watching. I'm not going to be watching the chat. So the self-propelled modular transport vehicles, right? Like the crawlers that have all the legs. The Fagiolis. There are two of them that are red. And they are currently moving Booster 5. Booster 5, that's the stainless steel wheel right there. To, as far as I know, it looks like they're maybe going back to go sit and chill with uh, uh, Sorry, I just got thrown off the taking a video. Um, I'm just like totally flattered when people take videos and they go back. So, or SN16 and SN15 back there, you know, the brothers high-fiving, flaps out. So, that was pretty cool. So, the, the self-propelled, the SPMTs, the self-propelled modular transport vehicles, are going to be freed up. So, what do we think is going to happen today? Anybody have an idea in the chat what, what those SPMTs are going to be used for? I have an idea. Uh, and I was talking about it when I was had no microphone on. But let me know in the chat if you have any idea what you think those once those SPMTs are un are freed from the bottom of Booster Five once it gets to its temporary home back here in the Rocket Garden slash Scrapyard slash whatever you want to call it. What do you think is going to happen, or what are they going to be used for next? Let me know in the chat. Oh yeah, thank you. Thanks for saying booster five. Uh, so here we are at Starbase, and yeah, sorry everybody. I meant booster five. Booster four is down there, and I I'm gonna head down there next because I think something's gonna happen. S PMTs will be used for a TikTok video. Good one, James. Uh, Gina Crow, okay. Uh, good morning, Passing Wind. We've got Ekdadamos here. We've got Global Weather Updates Connor here. We've got Victor here. Let's see. Here's the drone. Yes. 
I'm not going to stay here long because I want to go down to the launch pad. I have to pee again, of course. Okay, when I think, since no one, you know, I don't know how delayed this is, but what's up, Niall? I think that the SPMTs are going to be used beneath booster four. B4, which is at the launch pad right now. I can show it to you. I actually have Dishy McFlat face on my car as well. <laughs> Why do I feel like I need to stick my tongue out? Uh, there's the Kirschkona. That direction is the launch pad. You can see I'm filming right here. Here comes the banging. Get wild hair. <laughs> so anyways, I think that the, the creepy crawlers, aka the fagioli crawlers, I think that they're going to be used to roll beneath, once they're released from booster 5, they're going to set booster 5 down back here. This is my speculation. They're going to move those fagioli uh, crawlers down to the launch pad. And I think they're going to roll up underneath booster 4, and I do this because they crawl. And then they're going to uh, navigate booster 4 over to the OLT or the O. Uh, orbital Launch Tower or Orbital Launch Integration Tower uh, to get close to the Orbital Launch Mount, also known as the Orbital Launch Platform, OLM, OLP, Orbital Launch Table, well, no, that doesn't make sense, uh, Orbital Launch Pad, Orbital Launch Platform, Orbital Launch, what is there, what else is there, there's one more, anyways, depending on who you're talking to, so, that's just what I think is going to happen, because what they do is they crawl underneath and then they hoist up, and I'm going to do this to like hoist it upwards, and then they're able to move the, the um, I'm in my boots and I'm falling over on this rock, they're able to move booster 4, for example, over that direction, so, and then the, since Booster 4 is already attached to Crane X, I think maybe that's just uh, an extra security, I would say. Uh, I don't know for sure. Put it in the chat if you think differently about why Crane X. If they're just testing it. I'm not exactly sure. So I think that's going to happen today. I do think that they're going to lift Booster 4 in the next few days. If it's not today, I would, I would be... I would not be surprised if they didn't lift it today. Uh, the wind speeds for the rest of the week are supposed to be crazy. Um, upwards of, I saw uh, up to 40 miles per hour by Friday. So that's a lot. Anyways, I just wanted to give this update. And let's see. Back on my feet. I've been back on my feet for a while. Intelligent eating. Thank you. And when I have down days, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not running around. Uh, let's see here. Good morning, Paul Thompson. Good morning, Launchpad. Good morning, Beacon 179. We've got Perpetual Claws. Uh, Cybertruck is here. What's up, Cybertruck? Uh, Cartoon Woody. Marvin. Crane X. Marvin. Uh, it's hard to see, but that top ledge of the wall is all solar panels. That's right. It's crazy to see in person. Yes, and they are made by Q. I think they're made by QQ. Not QQQ. That was a ETF stock I used to invest in. Or a uh, exchange traded fund. Um, QZ. And they are 340 watt panels. And yeah, they're awesome. This whole wall. And also, Cybertruck, they're installing them all along the fence of the build site as well. I would love to get, what, six, seven, eight of those, nine, ten of those for the top of my RV. Let's see. Good call. Ooh, we got a super chat. Random dad donation. Professional clothes are always coming with the donation. Thank you so, so much. We've got Niall here. Monty Grimes is here. Hal Crone is here. Oops. We're buffering. Not sure why we're buffering. All right, everybody. Uh, there was a vote on La Padre. They wanted it Marvin after the Mars. Mars. 
Nah, cry next. All right, everybody, I love ya. We're gonna walk over back to Dishy. 69 viewers. <laughs> it is a cloudy day, but it's really nice. There's a light breeze. Uh, this direction, it's really beautiful. Also, I'm not sure if that's kind of some kind of drilling rig back there. Something. Uh, I'll stop this video. And I have the rollout. It's not great footage, but it was fun to hang out with all the people, all of the other capturers. Not buffering on your end. It, it was uh, buffering on my laptop. So it could have been a Starlink thing. Because we're not connected to Starlink right now. We're connected to the live view. But follow me. We're going to look both ways. This crap is crazy. Dishy. Dishy makes fluff face. Still here? I think so. Yeah. Alright everybody, love you. Jessica Kirsch here. Coming to you with Dishy McFlat Face. <gasps> the guy in that always revs it up real hard. <sighs> oh, this morning I helped uh, get a SpaceX employee out of the, the what's it called, the rock over here? Uh, her tire got stuck because it's really deep and all the semis come through and they move the dirt, or not the dirt, dirt the gravel around. So I I lended her the tow rope and then another employee pulled her out. I could have used the tow hitch, but she already had somebody to help tow. And I got it on video, so I was really excited about that. Um, she was really nice and it's nice to, there were three, two other women there helping. So uh, I was the fourth woman, uh, so that was pretty exciting. Women helping women. <laughs> and yeah, I feel, I just, I'm excited. Anyways, uh, love you all. Thanks for listening and watching. And I'll see you soon, okay? I'm going to go down to the launch pad. Put your notification bell on if you want to be notified. Bye, everybody. Mwah.